Breathing exercises are critical to your recovery. They help open your lungs and strengthen its muscles after surgery and prevent you from getting an infection. There are two types of breathing exercises. One, the incentive spirometer and two, deep breathing and coughing exercises. This is the incentive spirometer. It is a device that helps exercise the lungs. You place your lips around the mouthpiece and inhale as much as possible. You try to raise the balls and keep them raised for at least 3 seconds. Don't expect to be able to lift all of the balls at first. It will take time for the lungs to open. But with practice and encouragement, the patient will keep getting better. Have him repeat this exercise 5 to 10 times every 2 hours. They might complain and say that the exercise is uncomfortable. However, it does not harm them at all. Guess what time it is? Oh, Anand, not again. You know how important this pyrometer is to your recovery? I know, but... Now, Rajesh, sit on the edge of the bed or move to the chair. Exhale normally. Just relax. Imagine the birds singing. Place your lips tightly around the mouthpiece of the spirometer. Now, inhale as much air as you can. Hold the breath long enough to keep the balls raised for at least 3 seconds. You need to do this 10 times in a row. One. Two. You only got two of the balls, but it's okay, you are improving. Now you can rest for some time until we can do this again. Why are breathing exercises good for a cardiac patient after surgery? Because they help open the lungs and prevent lung infection after surgery. They help to regain the ability to breathe again. How many times per day should you do the spirometry exercises with your patient? You should have your patient use the spirometer every 2 hours 5 to 10 times.